jumping out here a little earlier, a couple minutes early, so uh, people could pick this up before the actual start time, <clears throat> which is 7.30 Central, here in the great Chicagoland area. For those wondering, it's Edward Shanahan, right here, and uh, hopefully we get some people to watch this video. I'm going to do a couple things tonight, so, that you may find interesting. Okay. Hello, Bob. How you doing? Thanks for joining us. Like I was saying, uh, gonna be bringing on, uh, gonna be doing a couple things tonight. They'll be interesting. Gonna give it a couple more minutes before we get started. Uh, so, how's everything going, sir? Hopefully everything's going well. You gonna have a message for uh, something the paranormal field may find interesting, uh, other investigators, podcasters, and stuff like that. So uh, something we'll provide. Uh, busy, 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 busy. So. And today we're going to do, uh, I will be doing angel car pulls for every zodiac sign out there. Okay, let's just look at the list. And uh, we'll do one angel car pull for every sign, zodiac sign. And uh, things are going good. Uh, they're going good, busy, that's all. And uh, looking at, one thing I want to do, or I'm thinking of, is doing uh, spirit communication. I'm going to need a couple people to experiment it with. Experiment with first spirit communication over either using Zoom or Google Dual or even here with um, Facebook in the private messaging where you could do the video. So that's what we're planning on hopefully be doing with people, but I need a couple of people to experiment this with in the near future, the sooner the better. Okay. Itchy nose. So I'm gonna pull a card for you, Bob. Specifically. Since you're the first person in here, I'm gonna pull a card for you. Okay, I'm shuffling them. Let's show the people. Okay. Hello, viewers. All right. This is for you, Bab. This is for the present, personally for you. Anybody else that says hello on here, I'll try to keep up and give them one too. Let's put the glasses on. Archangel Raphael, I am helping you to heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. So, hello, Susan. Thank you for joining us. I will give you a card too. I will pull one for you. I'm going to be pulling uh, cards in a little bit for those. Angel cards for every zodiac sign, but this is specifically for Susan since she's here before it gets too crowded and can't pull no cards. All right, Rachel. Uh, 
Okay, this is for you, Susan. As you f honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. Okay, so just follow your heart. Uh, what I have found a great source of information, business information, uh, by a lot of young bloods, mid thirties and younger, down to seventeen. It's earning six figures is and giving information on how to do it too is on TikTok. They're pretty much wiped away with the dancing and smiling girls um, and I got turned on to this by the fact that I have a buddy his name is Steve he's a professor at Governor State he teaches uh, computer science computer um, Security and stuff like that, and he said, "Ed, you gotta go. You gotta check it out, man. They have totally changed." So um, that's TikTok entrepreneurs. A lot of them on there, and a lot of them giving you help. Um, if you come on, say hi. There's four of us. Uh, Susan and Bob said hi, and I will pull an angel card for you. Okay, Barbara. Waving back, hello, and Cheryl, right, waving back too, hello. Okay, I'm gonna pull a card, Barbara. This is for you, for today. Athena, it is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself, okay? That's for her. That was for Barbara. And Cheryl, this one will be for you. Like I said, I'll do it till we get crowded and I can't do it no more. All right. Cheryl, huh. you grew the big guy, Archangel Michael. I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. Okay, that was for you, Cheryl. We, I will be doing uh, the carpools for every zodiac sign. So it's either it could be for you, somebody you know, um, family member. Also, if you got a pen and paper, grab it. There might be something. And we're going to do spirit communication. Okay? We're going to try to get all that in. So, see what happens. Okay. Let, um... Let's get to what do I want to get to? Why not? Let's get to the horoscope month, the car pulls for the months coming up. Okay. And who is Alright. We'll start with January, Capricorn. Hello, Sandy. Let me uh, wave back to you. Let me uh, let me pull a card for you first. Okay. See what we get. Isaiah. It is a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to read. That's just for the personal people that came in. Um, Brenda, I will give you one also. Let's pull for you. Isabella. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectation. Yes. You know, wave back to you, Brenda. Yes, you got to have positive, 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 positive. And uh, go with that, okay? Go with that, go with that. All right. Let's go. Let's start out with Capricorn, okay? I'm going to pull the card. I've been shuffling them. I'm going to pull one. This is for this month. Well, next month, August, since 31st today. So if you're a Capricorn and know somebody is, 
Yavana. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. Okay. Let me go with another trip the card. Okay. Let me go with another. That was now we'll go with Aquarius, which is January twenty first to February eighteenth. And they are an air sign. I'm not remembering that folks, believe me. Uh, Ever written down. Okay. For you, Isabella. Yes, the timing is right for this new adventure. Huh, I'm an Aquarius. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. Alrighty. Yeah, I got some things cooking, thinking. Always do. Now we go with Pisces, February 19th to March 20th. And they are a a water sign. Okay. For them. Lila. Spend time alone in nature, meditating about your dreams, your desires, and intentions. And the angels to help you. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. Okay. Hello, Polly. Let me pull one card specifically for you, as I have for uh, others. And, Bob, I've already been through uh, three signs, so hopefully one of them wasn't yours. We'll find out. And, Polly, this is for you. Athena, again, another. It is safe for you to be powerful. You know uh, how to be. Let's see, ladies I'm, and gentlemen, I'm reading with uh, a specific little bit of light. Uh, how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. So that was for you, Polly. Okay. All right, we're going to pull another card. We're going to pull Aries for the month. And Archangel Raphael, for those Aries people, you are helping, I am helping you to heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. Okay. So y'all know I'm shuffling the suckers. Okay. Uh, they're just coming up the way they're supposed to be for individuals. And welcome everybody that's tuning in. All right. This is for Taurus, April 21st to May 20th. Teresa, time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs. But now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. Okay. That was for you, Tauruses. All right. Mariana. Marina. I'm going to go. I'm bad with pronouncing names, and if I met you in person, I would ask you the correct way to pronounce it. So just bear with me, all right? I'm going to pull a card specifically for you, since you're on here. Serena, angel card. I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need, and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith, Okay. And we got a Jennifer Crowley. Let me pull yours. Okay. Then we'll get right back to pulling cards for the horoscopes. And we also will do spirit communication session. And maybe a couple other things. This is for you, Jennifer Chante. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. So hopefully, and I wave back to you, Jennifer. Hopefully, um, that's something you've been looking for. All right, we're going to go to Genesis now. For last card we pulled was for Taurus, and I dropped another. So I'm going to pick that card for this reading. Jumped out for no reason. All right, Archangel Gabriel, you have an important life purpose involving communications and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. That was for Gemini's. Okay, we're going to pull for cancer. Okay. Cancer is June 22nd to July. Uh, Vanessa, to make your decision, ask yourself, 
Which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? Which way takes me away from it? You always want to bring it closer, okay, for your purpose. A lot of people got talent out there. Tap into it, okay? Tap into it, folks. All right, Leo, July 23rd, August 22nd. All right. All right, Grace and Internet. To help heal this situation, and this is for you Leos. You're stubborn at times. I know it. To help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. Okay? With compassion. I mean, sometimes sitting back, biting your tongue, biting your lip, doing this, and uh, listen with compassion. Okay? See what their point of view is. And then talk it out from there. All right? Not everybody's right and not everybody's wrong. All right? That's a fact. Okay. Virgo, August 23rd to September 22nd. Okay, remember, folks, if you know any of these type of people, let them know. Virgo, ah, mystique. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer, especially if you're an only child. Um, expect miraculous solutions to appear. That's for you, Leos. Okay. Ah, Mr. Comp. Hello, hello, hello. Let me pull a card for David. <clears throat> David is a long time friend. Okay. So, um, and was also the guy who took some of the pictures that you've seen. From the wrestling matches in Bridgeview that I was involved in. <clears throat> I'm doing fine. Sissy, thank you. David, this is for you. Ah, Grace and Anthony and Ed again. To help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view. With compassion, David. Okay. Um, David's a mild-tempered person. He does take a... I'm waving to him. He does take a back seat at times and listens. That's for sure. But he's very wise, too. So, um, listen well to him. Sissy, let me pull a card for you. Okay. Crystal, you have faith. Have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see. This is for, this is for August. We're coming right into it. Tomorrow, I believe. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, pulling the sign, pulling the card for the sign, Virgo. And this is Giovanni again. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets in, on earth and in heaven are being watched over by angels. Okay. Let's go Libra. September 23rd, October 22nd. Okay. Ah, you missed it. You're going to have to listen to it because I pulled it. Sorry. Sorry. I'm going to try. Not. Let, me, let me get through uh, Libra first. Sanya, I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy at peace. I'm happy at, at peace, and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. That's for you, Libras. Okay. Scorpio. Put one for you. For all you Scorpios out there. See what we, We're going to take this one since it popped out on its own. When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, or tonight, or tomorrow, such as a massage, sea salt bath, or pedicure. Pedicure. Okay. So I think that's mostly for directed towards the ladies. All right. Sagittarius, which is November 23rd to December 21st. For next month, uh-huh, 
Marlena, you are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. All right? That's where all you Sagittarius is. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. Okay? And uh, the Scorpio, I put, well, I read that. So, um, it says, see, I did a, I did uh, one specifically for you, but somehow you lost out on catching it, and maybe next month, or listen, or re-listen to the uh, the tape. It will be on there, okay? Listen to it. I hope everybody's doing fine. I'm doing great. Uh, I've been busy as heck, um, working on new things. Let me get these things off. Working on new things and seeing what's going to happen in the near future. Um, I like to, oh, let me, let me, let me, let me, okay, I'm reaching back, all right, let me show this, here you go, it is, and I buy it at all, these, alkaline water 9.5, okay, do some research on alkaline, do some research, Google it, I mean medical research, not, you know, conspiracy, because that could be argued, or what people think is conspiracy, um, there's medical stuff out there. Matter of fact, uh, post surprise, doctor, okay. Alkaline. They state that cancer cannot survive an alkaline environment. And also neither can viruses hmm, survive an alkaline. Now, this is what I read. And I read it from a medical thing, and also they were talking about uh, carbon monoxide, okay, hmm, and what its effect is. So, all these, a pack of 15, this size, okay, it's a good size, 700 millimeters, um, whatever that is. Um, it's um, a package of 15 for 5.95, okay, so excuse me while I take a getting cat in mouth. All right, all right, sissy, let me do it. Let me pull one more. Don't want to get nobody upset. Don't want to have anybody upset at me. All right. That cool if it had been the same card, huh? Um, I don't remember what the card was originally. That cool. All right, glasses. A happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will will usher in positive new energy. Okay. Now, folks, the thing is, I'm reading with a light over here. Okay. Over there. And the side. One above. Okay. And four candles here. So that's why sometimes I have to take a close look at what I'm looking at. So, all right. That's it. So, Got you, sissy. Um, one thing, let me give you a little history lesson, fast one. Uh, about three years ago, I was scheduled to do a, sp a speak a speak at uh, a Catholic church. I'm not going to say the suburbs because, uh, okay, she's looking for a new home. Maybe it was good that your screen went blank the first time. Um, so... I was supposed to speak there for the Mother's Club and that. And two days before I was supposed to speak, it was in October, get an email that the pastor said um, that I couldn't do it. Wasn't allowed to. Okay. I guess the gates of hell might open up or something. I don't know. All right. The thing is, the funny thing is, um, and I mentioned this before. My granddaughter went to uh, Catholic grammar school in Oak Lawn, and near Halloween, hello Sandra, um, near Halloween, the pastor got in the circle with the kids, especially the graduates, and this was graduate year, and he brought up uh, the kids, you know, can ask questions. Cool. I hope, uh, hope it went well, Sandra. Um, so, and the kids asked them, do you believe in witches? 
This was the pastor. And he goes, he goes, I got I got a few friends that are witches. No problem. They're good people. You got good ones and bad ones, like in anything else. Okay? You got good ones and bad ones. And uh so he was he was real cool with that. And then um there's even the church in Burbank, Catholic Church, that had a psychic reader on Las Vegas nights, okay? So Las Vegas night, Las Vegas Catholic Church, you know, what's a psychic to, you know, psychic ain't so bad then. It was fundraisers, so uh, that was cool. And I, I myself have spoken, uh, did about three sermons in a Christian church, I'm Catholic, and uh, Catholics are, if you're on, well, yeah, you're on Facebook right now, go to look up Catholic Witches. It's there, it's there. And you know what? It's very, 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 very informative. It's historically informative. So I would say, uh, if you're looking for something a little different, Catholic Witches here on Facebook. I'm a member there. I've been there for a while. He had the, um, on the podcast, he had the, the administrator on with me and Annette talking it. And she was, um, even though she's a, she's a pagan and she's got a couple other credentials, but, and she's, um, she was very impressed because she actually went to uh, Catholic high school and I believe a little Catholic college. So, uh, so yes, they were they're good people. And like anything else, as the priest, the pastor said, you got your good and you got your bad. Anything in life. All right. So let me read this. This is for anybody out there that needs to defend the fact of, let's say, psychics like me, readers, etc. And, uh, and stuff like that. Um, so it's in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 12, chapter 12. And it says, Christian brothers, I want you to know about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. You need to understand the truth about this. Then we go to verse 4. There are different kinds of gifts but it is the same Holy Spirit who gives them. There are different kinds of work to be done for him, but the work is for the same Lord. There are different ways of doing his work, but it is the same God who uses all these ways in all people. The Holy Spirit works in each person in one way or another for the good of all. One person is given a gift of teaching words of wisdom Another person is given the gift of teaching what he has learned and knows. Spiritually, old souls. Remember I mentioned those in my readings. These gifts are by the same Holy Spirit. One person receives the gift of faith. Another person receives the gifts of healing. Healers. These gifts are given by the same Holy Spirit. One person is given the gift of doing powerful works. Spirit communication, maybe. Another person is given the gift of speaking God's word. Another person is given the gift of telling the difference between the Holy Spirit and false spirits. Okay. Yeah, at and uh, And false spirits. Another person is given the gift of speaking in special sounds. Tongues. Another person is given the gift of telling what these special sounds mean what the tongues are saying but it is the same holy spirit the spirit of god who does all these things he gives to each person as he wants to give okay you may not have everything some people don't some people are old souls some people are older souls than me and we know that and i know that i picked that up so um We, uh, yeah, when back in 2000, yeah, back in 2000, 21 years ago, I uh, had a cable show, Public Access at the time, which was a hot thing back then, and it called The Unexplained World. It was videos and all this and going locations and that. Um, and the funny thing is, the people that pretty much pushed it off because I couldn't get editing time, because I was, at the time I could have access to it, 
Um, everybody's kind of jumped in on it, uh, that time span. Or the pastors that were on this thing, okay? God forbid. If somebody, you know, the unexplained world talking about uh, anything besides whatever they wanted to push. Or they were pushing, all right? Boy, how things have changed today, okay? They have changed, and that's good. As Annette says, who's a pagan and uh, has been a high priestess and that, is we all climb in the same mountain. We all, it's just, people take different paths, okay? So be open to other people's beliefs. I always love to hear what other people's religions or faiths are about. Very interesting all the time, okay? Um, so that's that. For you readers out there, or those that are interested in becoming readers, I will recommend this book again. Okay, you've seen it backwards. Psychic's Counselor's Handbook. Very good book by Ralph D. Jordan. All right. I got pages marked. I got things underlined. I got things written up in the back pages and stuff like that. So um, that's very good. For those that are into the paranormal, big time. Another great book by Reverend Christina Rake. Okay, it's called God and the Paranormal Part 1, Mediums, Ghosts, and the Afterlife in the Bible, Positive Ways. She explains it, uncovers things and stuff like that. Um, very positive, very good book uh, for those in the paranormal. All right. Any questions from anybody? Thank you for everybody that has shown up so far. All right. Um, Let's see, where can we go? We did that, we did that. All right, um, talked about the alkaline water. And the nice thing about the alkaline water that you're drinking, you know, you know what's going in your body. Got my drift. So, um, and remember one thing you see now, water coming out that says zinc and that on it. Zinc is just a delivery. It's like a saddle that somebody would ride into, but it helps absorb the, into the um, tissues and stuff. Alkaline gets absorbed too. So if you see sink water in there, take it with your medication, take it with your vitamins and stuff like that. Uh, alkaline water is absorbed fast, so it's good for those that are working out in that. Um, if they take like creatine and stuff, mix it in this stuff, okay, uh, gets absorbed fast. Um, Buddy Steve, the same professor. Goes to Mexico a lot, and um, they actually give them containers of that stuff to workers and all that when it's so hot out there and stuff. So um, they ask for titles again. The, f the first book is The Psychic Counselor's Handbook that I mentioned. The Psychic Counselor's Handbook. And the second one is uh, God and the Paranormal, Part 1, Mediums, Ghosts, and the Afterlife in the Bible. So basically, just type in, I guarantee it, um, in Amazon, God and the Paranormal, Part 1. Okay, Reverend Christina Rake. Okay, you can re-listen to this um, if it should have slipped and you didn't get it. Um, the other thing is, if you're looking for those books, I do have a spiritual shop on Amazon. Okay, just type in the Amazon backslash shop backslash Edward underscore Shanahan underscore 773. Okay. A lot of spiritual stuff. A lot of, um, um, I'm going to even have altar stuff up there in the future. There's, um, stuff for crystals, everything. It's, it's, I, I try to think what the people would want. Okay. What they would like. So, uh, hopefully that they enjoy that. We're going to go into the spirit communication. We'll do that now. I want to see how it sounds on your end because this might be one way that I do readings with um, Amazon, you know, where you get on screen, face, face to face, individuals. Okay. Um, True Messenger. How's that sound? Um, want to try, get a couple of people to try that. Google Duo. All right. And Zoom. I want to try Zoom this way, all right? Then having the whole computer set up in that, which did work, but I'd like to scale down a little and see what happens, okay? So, oh, 
All right, we're gonna do the spare communication. Um, how can we do it on here? Uh, what would make it interesting? All right. Think of a loved one who's passed of yours. That's close. And I don't have pen. But so what we're gonna do is I'll try to catch the name as they come up. If I don't get to it right away, post it again. Okay? But once I post once I say it, please don't keep on reposting. I'll try to ask them to come through. See if there's a message. Alright. Um in which your name I'll include that. See what happens. It's an experiment. Um approved. I was there. Experiment approved by me. So we'll um we'll give it a shot. Um boy, no puns intended in any of this. So we'll give it a shot and see what happens. Alright. I don't need this. This is first for me. So first of all, when I'm doing the readings, remember spirits are energy. Okay. Vibration and sound is energy. So take a deep breath, relax. Hello, Carol Nelson, wave back to you. Um, what the hell, before I get into this, let me pull a card. So everybody just relax, take a deep breath, clear your mind. Why I'm doing this. Carol, I'm going to pull a card for your month of August. Okay, for the month. And another Archangel, Ural. And it says... Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open the greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness for your heart and mind. Okay, so that's for you, Carol. No more interruptions, folks. Let's get a, going with this. So as I was saying, um, sound is vibration. So I like to just tap in this way. So everybody just relax. Wendy, we'll get to you in a little while. Take a deep breath. Just clear your mind. Just relax. Because maybe we've had, when we've done the podcast, people feel the spirit in their home. When we've had, when we've been doing this. And that night, and then we have people on the air. That we did it live with. Why well, that feels good too. Through the ear and the mind. Okay, let me turn this on. Let me get a little closer. We're gonna change. Hello. Somebody just called my name. Hello, the spiritual side. I can't switch. I'm trying to switch. For you guys can see. And I'm afraid I will get to finish. There we go. Alright. Hello. We come here out of respect. I come out of respect. Blake. They said Blake. My goal is to show people there's a spiritual world, a spiritual side. And for them to believe in that. I asked the spirits to come through. Somebody to come through. I just mentioned God in there. I don't think he'd be coming through. He does, boy. Um, ho ho hopefully he enjoys this. I asked the spiritual side to come through. And, and ladies and gentlemen, let me know how this sounds on your end, please. I ask you to come through. Call out somebody's name in here if you want. 
Hello, Charles. Charles Loeffler. Who am I? Can you name me? Be nice about it. Somebody said Bree. Can a spirit come through? Give me a name. Give me a name. Give me a name. Hello, Linda. <laughs> Somebody said hi. Maybe that was for you, Linda. Let me ask a question. I want to try to bring a powerful spirit through. Would that be... He said dad. Who said dad? Who called out dad? Did you say Ed? Let me. Or was that Dad that was responding? Bob, who was here, he still may be here. I know he, I believe it was an uncle that passed of his about a year, year, maybe two years ago, year and a half. Can, can Bob's uncle, I wish Bob would come through and let me know what his name was. Come out here and let me know if he's still here. Hopefully he is. Um, can, can Bob's uncle come through? Or for those people that are watching this, come on and give me a name that you want me to ask for. There's seven, seven or eight of you watching this at this moment. So feel free to come in. If there's a loved one you want me to see if I could bring through. Sissy's asking for a gentleman named Matt. Sissy, Sissy. Who's on here? Can we bring a Matt through? Hi. To you too. Can we bring a Matt through? Matthew? Jennifer's looking for... Desnish, Desnish, which is a grandmother. Her grandmother. D. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> her, uh... Her grandmother, D. And we're looking for Math. Or Matthew. D for Jennifer... And for Sissy Matthew. Um, Jennifer, I'm picking up your grandmother was, when she was younger, kind of like the life of a party. Am I right? Am I picking up the right spirit to say yes or no here? 
Uh, somebody just called my name. Um. And she was she was instantaneous among with the kids. Thank you for confirming that. Jennifer, thank you. Oh, this might work out better than I expected. Um, Sissy, Matthew. What I'm picking up when I run his name through my head, Sissy, is did he have a little bit of a short temper or impatient type of person? That's what I'm kind of picking up. We, Sissy. It's cream. Thank you for confirming that. He was kind of a loner. Sometimes he, it's, he knew he had those issues, and he would kind of just rather be alone and so, get angry at people. So, um, let me say something to everybody that's watching this. When. Thank you, sissy. Um, let's say the darkest state. I, I just went through this with the phone, with um, doing phone call readings. And what would, what happens? I mean, bad people go through a cleansing. Everybody crosses over. And I got this as a dream message. And let me flip the camera and explain this. All right. I got that as a dream message that bad people go through a cleansing before they cross over. And what is that cleansing? The cleansing is they have to go through the pain that they caused the others. Okay? A Manson, a Gacy even. They'll cross. It may take forever. But those type of people will even cross, but it'll take a long time. And they got to feel the pain that they cause others to the same degree, okay? So, because you know what? Somebody may be bad, and I knew somebody that was, but there's still somebody that loves them, okay? So there's hope for the people that may have lost a loved one that because of situations and that the loved one wasn't the best but they will eventually cross over and somebody just called my name all right let's switch come on camera all right there we go so what did the spiritual world think of my definition of you guys crossing over. Thank you for confirm confirming that, Mary. Feel free to call out somebody's name. It may be here. Feel free to do so. Nope. Somebody said nope. All right. Hello, Gene. All right, uh, Polly. Polly is looking for an individual named Joseph. What was Joseph to you? What was Joseph to you, Polly?
Hello, Gene. I'll give you a reading soon. Joseph, I'm trying to see if I could bring that through for myself also. All right, Polly. Can Polly's father, Joseph, come through, please? Can we bring him through? No. <laughs> I think I was in the Humphrey house again. No. All right, your father passed in April. Joseph. Joseph. I'm picking up that somebody that was in a lot of pain at the end. Is that is that right, Polly? Almost actually picking up somebody that may have cried because of the pain. Couldn't hold it back no more. Is that true? That's why I'm picking up the spirit right now. And sissy, sorry about your son. All right. He's with you. Anybody I'm picking up on and describing this way, they're with you. Your loved ones are with you because all I got here is your name. I can't even hardly tell what the picture is, but they're with you. Because otherwise, they wouldn't be. I wouldn't be getting these messages, folks, or descriptions. I'd rather do descriptions because. That confirms a lot that way. Shara Lynn? Sherry Lynn? I'll go Sherry Lynn. Woman named Linda? What was she to you? Uh. Sherry, you still there? She's your mom? Ooh. Um. She was a strong woman in the younger ages. Oh, Tracy. She was a very strong woman. But yet, it kind of bothered her that she ended up to have to rely on others as she got very old. Am I correct on that, Sherry? And there was confusion too I'm picking up. Is that true? Sherry, is that true? Okay, she's with you. Oh, folks, um, I'm happy this is working this way because I got a feeling this is what I'm going to be doing, how I'll be doing the phone readings now with Spirit, Spirit Communications because I'm tapping in. I'm tapping in. Somebody also knows a gentleman that is hurting at this time. He's alive. He's walking bent over. And he has to hold himself up. I think he's using a walker. He's hiding some things from you. You and your family. Hold his hand. And ask him what's going on. And I think he's somebody's father. So it could be for those on here or those who see this in the future. Whew. All right. 
a little bit more draining than uh, doing readings in person, that's for sure. Um, but thank you for those that responded that way. Let me... Um, yeah, thank you for those that responded. Um, I'm happy it worked out. Whoa. Some got in the way of a lot of things right there. All right. He knows that, Polly. He knows that. He knows that. Matter of fact, he's watching. He knows. He's with you. So, he knows that. Uh, what type of box am I using? Uh... Well, the thing is, I don't get paid to advertise it, so. and you got to pay for it. It ain't no freebie. So, um, I actually have even the um, Shack Hack. I even got one of those. I got one of the last couple of months after I got it and did it. They uh, went to using the ribbon. So, um, um, I've had people ask before what box am I using. But I never really give the name out. Because um, it costs a hefty amount and it's a download. So it's a computer generated thing. It ain't something, it's, an, it's not an app. So, and even if I said what it was, you have to go find it. Then. Boy, somebody's not happy. What? 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 Uh, so. Huh, somebody just, just got a message. Somebody else has come on that a TikTok once watched live. Well, hello to you too. So, now basically I'm using a Samsung tablet, which I may get a new one. Because um, this thing's probably 10 years old. So. It actually had Echovox originally on it. So, that's still a good thing. I enjoy this better. Um, because it's not a constant run-on. In most cases. But now, it seems like, uh, they're awake. The spiritual side. Um, so, I am gonna call that part of it an end to it. To doing the spirit communication session. I'd like to thank the spiritual side for coming through or allowing me to tap into those that were requesting just to give them brief demonstrations and let me know what can work and what can't by doing this can with respect leave with respect somebody said bye somebody said okay Watch over those that listen in on this. The loved ones, watch over them. And also protect them. And please watch over me and protect me. And thank you for participating, the spiritual side. Yeah, and there's only so much you can take there, too. Um... So that's that. All right, let me put this back where it belongs. I want to say, I do have a possible facility in the future. Um, big place, big place. Um, I have access to by way of the buddy I named Steve. And so those that are in the paranormal field, Let's put it this way. There's room there to even do podcasts and have audience participation during the podcast. Um, video, okay, recording with audience if you're interested. Uh, setting up a raking area if there's people interested. It's just, it's unlimited for readers and stuff and that. Um, so, yeah, it's like the, it's south. 
south uh, suburbs, southwest suburbs. Um, probably won't be until, mm, I would say, probably the beginning of next year that we can actually work out of there. But we got to set stuff up to do, okay, you know. So if anybody's interested, thus email me from my website, edwardshanahan.com, or uh, email me at edward. Oh, shit. I forgot. I haven't used email myself that long. Um, email me from edwardshanahan.com, uh, okay? Or send me a message through here with your email address, okay? Um, and I will give future notice to that. Um, and hello, Martha. Okay. And, um, I said there was a couple of people to give readings, pull the cards for. I'll be ending this soon. Um, so if there's anybody interested, paranormal field readers, those who do podcasts for the supernatural, paranormal, whatever type of stuff, um, contact me. Um, we're going to work it where I think you guys will be shocked, okay? And because I will be, I got access to the place, let's put it that way. So it's all based on me. So, um, got to keep the spiritual side going, okay? And uh, those in the supernatural, uh, an idea I've always had also for the paranormal in the Chicagoland area in Illinois. Um, may try to pull that off too, but I will need, um, those involved. Okay. So it'll be a p good place to have meetings and stuff like that. Um, okay. I'm going to do Martha. I don't believe I pulled a card for Polly. Did I Polly pull a card for you and Sissy? Okay. We're done with this real fast. Alright, Sonia, this is for Martha. I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy, at peace, and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me, okay? Um, as I always said, your loved ones who pass are your first level of spirit guides. When you lay down at night, ask them to give you guidance. Ask them to bring peace to your life. Ask them to watch over definitely those who our living children, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, Mary, pull a card for you. Before we say goodnight. Ah, Rochelle again. This is for August, for your month of August. As you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. Very good. Okay. And let's see. Polly, and I think that might be it. I don't think there's any new people. Let's see. And thank everybody for the hearts. Uh, thank you very much for that. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Ah, uh, I don't know if this means anything to you, Polly. Opa. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. Oh, something else I wanted to say. For those that are Catholic in that, or at least, all right, uh, your loved ones who pass, okay? Catholic religion considers them spirits. Not spirits, we all know that. Saints, that's what I meant to say. Considers them saints, okay? Um, every one of them. They concern them saints they passed. I heard that on the Catholic radio channel. So I do listen to the radio, Catholic channel. And uh, I was like, wow, that'd be nice to tell people. Make them feel good. Okay, so um, for years I've been saying your first, uh, first level spirit guides. And well, hey, you know what? Catholic Church radio station just confirmed it. So um, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Let's see if there was anybody else I may have missed. Uh, let's do Tracy. 
Then we'll do sherry and then I may be done for tonight. Tracy. Ah, Daniel. Uh, I don't know if this means anything to you, Tracy. You know, maybe some of your family. This is for August. I'm the angel of marriage and I'm assisting you right now. Okay, so. And let's go with. Who else? Jennifer. Jennifer, Archangel Uriel, your emotions are healing, which enables you to open a greater love. I will help you and release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. And that's for August. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining in. I hope you enjoyed this. I would like to bring you more maybe every two weeks or so. I get terror here myself also, so, um, shy guy I am, uh, every two weeks or so, and see how you feel about it. Let me know. Y'all have a good week, a good August. Be safe, be smart, do your research, and decide for yourself what you want to do. May God bless you. May your loved ones bless you. May I be blessed also. And may you be remembered by your loved ones. As you haven't forgotten them, they haven't forgotten you. Just ask. Ask them to come to you in your dreams. When you lay down at night. Do it more than once. Okay. They will. Y'all take care. Edward Shanahan. And remember to write me. If you're interested in what I was offering, Edward Chanahan, edwardchanahan.com. If you want to try this, either way, I need to experiment. So, and I approve the experiments. So, um, give me a shout out. Contact me. Y'all take care. Bye. Uh -huh.